last two nights of debates, we've heard from many potential candidates for president. Mm. Also Bill de Blasio. But <laughs> oh, no. there are even more Democrats running that did not qualify to be in these debates, including substantial candidates, like the actual governor of Montana, Steve Bullock. He's the sitting governor of a red state that went for Trump in 2016, and he was not on stage tonight. Well, don't worry, because while NBC may have hosted the first debate with the other candidates, The Late Show is proud to host something even more historicer: <laughs> the first all-Governor Steve Bullock debate. The Late Show's all-Governor Steve Bullock debate. No bull, all Bullock. And now, our moderator, Stephen Colbert. Good evening. I'm not Lester Holt. A reminder, to qualify for tonight's debate, we looked at the candidates' poll numbers, their fundraising, and then whether or not they were Governor Steve Bullock. Tonight, America finds out where Governor Bullock stands on key issues and also what he looks like. Please welcome the sitting governor of Montana and candidate for the Democratic nomination, Steve Bullock. Thank you, Stephen. Let me begin by saying Just that I... Just Governor. This is a debate, so let's meet your challengers. Next up, <laughs> Governor of Montana, Steve Bullock. I look forward to a spirited debate. Also, Governor Steve Bullock. It's Bullock. I'm sorry, Bullock. Tied with all of them in the polls, seven more Steve Bullocks. Governors Bullock, thank you all for being here. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Okay, let's begin. My first question is for Governor Bullock. I'm sorry, fourth bullock from the left, you there in the striped tie. My question is, you didn't qualify for the debates. You aren't breaking through in the polls. How do you make the case that voters should take you seriously? I'm the only Democrat running for president that actually won in a Trump state. And I govern a rural state. Even with the Republican legislature, we've been able to get big, bold, progressive things done. If we want to beat Donald Trump, we need to make sure that we can both win back some of the places that we lost in the past and also give people a reason to believe that both the political system and our democracy will work for them. I am that candidate. Thank you, Governor. Bullock number seven, care to respond? I agree with everything that Governor Bullock just said. He just said my name. So I believe I have 10 seconds to respond? Uh, in, in a moment, sir. But first, we have a comment from uh, you in the middle, the center Bullock. Did you just say Sandra Bullock? Is she here? Sadly, no. Again, this is a Steve Bullock only debate. All right, gentlemen, final question. You've made campaign finance reform a central part of your platform. How do you plan to address the so called dark money? You know, fighting against the toxic influence of money in politics, it's been the fight of my career, and I think it's the challenge of our time. Most folks might not care about money in politics, Good but they Steve. do care that tax laws are written for the wealthy when 44% of Americans wouldn't have 400 bucks in the pocket. Prescription drug companies spend in our elections. We pay more for drugs and health care than any other country in the world, and we have nothing to show for it. We've kicked dark money out of our elections in Montana, and if we can do it in Montana, we could do it in Washington, D.C., and every state across this country. Thank you, sir. Now, gentlemen, we're running out of time, so you will all have three seconds to issue your closing statements, starting now. I'm I'm ready. Ready. Well, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you, Governors Bullock. We now return to our regularly scheduled coverage of pretty much everybody else. Back to you, Stephen. Thanks, Steve. We'll be right back with Governor.